Donald Zeraldo is here. He is a Global Canadian Ice Wine Ambassador. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is the ice wine industry faring before we start talking about the festival going on this weekend? Because we've had such a weird winter. How's yeah, it doing this year? This, this sort of mild weather. The reason I'm here is because it's not cold enough to be picking ice wine. Otherwise, I couldn't have made it. Right. I would have to say, I'm sorry, I can't come and join you. Been so. out in the fields. Have they not it, picked it yet? We did because it, it got, we had a couple cold days. It's got to be minus eight Celsius yeah. in order to be legal for the VQA, which is this medallion here. Yeah. So if you're buying ice wine, don't ever buy ice wine that doesn't have VQA. Because mm -hmm. that guarantees you it's local and that it's made in the proper conditions. Oh. So here are the grapes right here, and they're not frozen. But you want to taste them? Taste yeah. them? Yeah. Yeah. Taste yeah. them. And what type of grapes are these? We are <laughs> Vidal, which is one of the great... You do, yes. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me pass you yeah, some yeah, this way. Right. So you notice easy. that they're getting a little Ooh, bit they're chilly. brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried to keep them frozen. But they'll be like ball bearings. Mm. So when we make the Equifair ice wine, we pick the grapes, mm -hmm. we free, well, we freeze them. Mother Nature freezes them, so at minus eight. But we like it to go to minus ten, so they get all of the water. And they're very, uh, really a, sweet very tasting. Sweet. Yeah, it's not you as take sweet all the water out, so you got like twenty percent left. You got sugar, acid, which mm. is the secret to making great ice wine. So when mm. you taste them now, you're going to taste a little bit of grittiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you squeeze it out, you get the sugar and the acid, that perfect balance. We ferment it and it makes this great ice wine. But there's very little of it. And this year, because of the warm weather, we've been sort of really nervous, waiting, 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 waiting. And we had two good cold nights uh, at the end of December, and then we got a couple nights in January. So most of the farmers got them off, but it was a really so tough. So that's it. The minute you hit that temperature, it's like wham, Bam, everybody out gets there. out yeah. there. What yeah. I heard, I used yeah. to visit the wineries all the time. What I yes. heard is you would actually receive like an emergency yeah. phone call like now is the time yeah. everybody get so up go six and pick it. The vineyard manager will say okay we're going to do it tonight 11 o'clock you got to come in and you know it's hard to get 100 people out to pick ice wine and everybody's oh I'd love to come it's very romantic like when you come to the ice wine festival right in the street yeah downtown it's all ice sculptures and you come in you drink ice, and people want to go inside so come to the Shaw Cafe at 12 from 12 to 2 on Saturday I'm doing a little ice wine martini thing in the cafe. Oh, whoa, ice wine martini? Ice wine martini, yeah. What's you take, you take uh, one ounce of ice wine and you put it with two ounces of vodka and put a little grape to garnish it. If yeah. you can, you get the little champagne grapes uh -huh. and it's really cool. And you can celebrate mm. Chinese New Year with it. No, is it, it must be wicked uh, work to try and pick that in the cold with no, your hands are wet. No, it's and, very romantic. But are you picking with bare hands? <laughs> no, you kind of take gloves pictures. and you cut the tips oh, off. Oh, you cut the tips off. Yeah, and then you go in, you pick, and then you run inside and get warm and then come back outside. You have a toddy. But I, the secret, and I, you know, we shouldn't share this with everybody, but we do some of it with machines now because yeah. you can't find it, a lot of people. Because yeah. we do a lot of ice wine with the international recognition that we have with Canadian ice wine. The market's been really good. What are the hallmarks of great ice wine? Uh, the secret is great acidity yes. because the Canadian cool climate that we have, which is a blessing because we have cold weather in Canada, right? Because you can't do this in California or Italy. Mm -hmm. So that you got this beautiful acid that balances the sugar that gives you that sweetness in the front. So it cleanses your palate and then it's ready to have food. And in the book that I wrote, which is ice wine, because mm -hmm. I thought everybody should know, there's 20 recipes that my resident chef put in here and it's pairing wine, ice wine with food because people always think it's just a dessert wine mm -hmm. but it's good to have fun foie gras great cheeses Ooh, great canadian cheeses oh a nice oh, cheese too that's that, sweet yeah. and the cheese yeah. so for people unfamiliar to ice wine what kind of characteristics are you looking for in, in a good ice wine so when you open it can i open the bottle sure yeah cool so then you can <laughs> actually like, yeah. tell and me what you think do, do they come in white and red or yes say, there's yeah. uh, vidal which is the one that you can get right now i'm going to throw a little plug in for aquifera because this is my first vintage with aquifera it's a vineyard uh, just up against an agri escarpment. So the Equifera vineyard has uh, Vidal, Riesling, and we did a Cabernet Franc, very limited. And the Cab Franc, if you want to really impress someone at Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. buy them a nice bottle of red ice wine for Valentine's. That's what I was just talking about, and I have to make a confession that I've never bought that bottle because I just keep going for the free samples <laughs> because it's $90 <laughs> it for this expensive. wee little bottle, but delicious. But the reason it's expensive is... Just smell it. <laughs> no, smell it. Yeah, it's okay. Oh. It's okay. If they arrest, come and arrest me, it'll be... There you go. So what you're going to smell in the nose is you get this beautiful aroma of you get lychee and you get mango, mm -hmm. and then when you put it in your mouth, which pretend you put it in your mouth, I'll... Oh, there you go. there's so many it's, smells. I smell 
Yeah, the so Tell me what you smell, and then it's better if you tell me. That glass, by the way, is designed by George Riedel, 11th century glass blower, for ice wine explicitly. Carl Kaiser right? and myself, and he designed it. So when you swirl it, don't be afraid, swirl it around. Mm. There's so whole, many, yeah, it's just so yeah. fruity and yeah. so... Remember in Sideways, here, Paul Giamatti put his hand over, put his, hand over his ear. <laughs> Remember that? Is it? Music to my nose. That would somehow close off his senses. I always smell apricot for some reason. Apricot? Yeah, yeah. yeah. dried apricot. Fruity, yeah. yeah, and you get mango, you get white pear, and then if you're pretending you're tasting it, you're going to yeah. taste the beautiful sugar, then you're going to get this nice sort of intensity, and then the acid comes up and cleanses your palate, and then when it's good, it's great for food. Have we always had ice wine? Uh, the Germans invented ice wine in the mid-1700s, yeah. and then uh, because we were so blessed with cold weather, my then partner, Kaiser, who's Austrian, tried it, and I thought he was a little crazy when he told me he was going to leave grapes to freeze on the vine. Yeah. But then we uh, won uh, a big award in France, and of course, you know, the French blessing us, telling us that Canada makes the best dessert wine, the whole world just sort of went crazy. So that was in 1991. Mm -hmm. First vintage we made in 1983, mm -hmm. but we didn't pick it because on December 3rd, Carl came in and said, I told you not to pick the grapes, and he, I said, I didn't pick them, I thought you did. It had snowed about a half a meter. And so there was no seeds or berries. The birds ate everything by the time we oh, came out no. to Alaska. So next year we put netting. So we now cover it. So if you come down on the weekend, you see the vineyards, what's left. There's a few left so you know, yeah. for photo ops mostly. Yeah. They're all covered with netting so the birds don't eat is, them all. Is the alcohol content higher in ice cream? Low because when the sugar starts to ferment, mm -hmm. the yeast ferments the sugar, the alcohol can't survive the high level of sugar, it dies off, but 9%, and you want to keep it that way, keep the balance perfectly. Tell, tell people just what to expect this weekend if they want to drop by Niagara on the Lake. The festival this weekend is in Niagara on the Lake, so it's right in the center of town, so you come yeah. right down to Niagara on the Lake, follow the signs, come in, and then in the evening there's a ice wine martini competition, and you can sample, I think there's about 20 different wineries, and like I said, come by the Shaw Cafe from 12 to 2, and I'll be there mixing some martinis and just talking about it. I am so trying that martini <laughs> recipe <laughs> this weekend. That is fantastic, and Donald knows what he's talking about because you're also one of the founding partners of Inniskillen, which is the first Canadian wine I think I was ever aware of was Inniskillen. We, because of Kaiser's being from Austria, and we tried it, and it worked, and now there's, you know, 100 uh, plus wineries making ice wine in Niagara, mm -hmm. Prince Edward County, mm -hmm. down in uh, Pelee Island. So there's lots of ice wine available that you can sample. Uh, and that's why we did the festival, because get people down in Niagara and Yeah, try to, try and check it wines. out. It, it's just a great, fun way to spend uh, a, a winter weekend. Yeah, and other, and other wines. There's a lot of other wines. We just, uh, last night I had a great bottle of Coyote's Run at uh, North 44. Because I oh. came in early, because you guys get up early, early. Nice night. You know how to live, <laughs> Donald. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Zeraldo, he's the global Canadian ice wine ambassador. Thanks for coming in and talking Thank to us. You. If you want to know more about the festival going on in Niagara on the Lake, go on to morningshow.ca. We'll have all the details there. We'll